I'm a little bit concerned for, I think, LGD right now. Their fifth pick is going to matter quite a lot. Secret, the downside for them is they don't have the best ways to deal with both the Jug and the Ember Spirit just because they only have that Beastmaster Roar really as that disable factor. Yeah, but they're going to pick really fast, like 20, like maybe not really fast, but at a reasonable timing, like 20, 25. They have Necrobook plus Kermit's with maybe Radiance plus Manta plus Blade Dragonlance Manta. Timing window is really, really strong. And Team LGD, Secrets, at that point, if they don't have pick. a decent early game, they won't have enough items to stop the push and Secret with their heroes should be able to remove all the outer towers from the map and control map. Final bans there, LGD get rid of the Enchantress while Secret rid of the Darkseer. So what can we look at here for Secret to get? It's obviously going to be the puppy hero we anticipate. Something to maybe add in that little bit of Five early laning aggression. Remain. Something Enchantress would have done nicely. What else could still be there for puppy? There's still the Chen for him. Time. No, the Chen was actually denied. Oh, yeah. I think they have removed a lot of his heroes here. Um, it's going to be a little bit difficult. Jungle Beastmaster, maybe? Do you think so? Vengeful Spirit. LGD's turn wow. to pick. Okay, that's like, very uh, aggressive. They're very straightforward. They just want to group up. They get their levels, they group up, and they're going to push with their auras and their illusions. For LGD, it's about surviving the early game. They don't want to lose the early game. I feel it's the same for Secret though. If they get late, late game with Shadow Demon, Beastmaster, remain. and Venge, all of them support the Terrorblade so much, it's going to be pretty interesting Five late game. I mean, my concern remain. right now though is how you take out the Ember in the Ultra late game just because it's hard for any of these heroes to naturally... Yeah. Hex, they need hex. Yeah, they don't have a Hex hero, they don't have an Abyssal Blade hero. Not one that's natural anyways. It's not an item that Alchemist or Beastmaster or Terrorblade are naturally going to build for. And I think the two supports struggle pretty hard against that Ember yeah. once he get, picks up something like that. Blade. Yeah, if Ember gets way too out of hand, it's very difficult for them to lock down. And he's a hero that can deal with the illusion, so they, they do not want a game to go too long. Yeah, like which is odd with the game with Alchemist. You would think yeah. that naturally that team usually feels pretty comfortable going 60 yeah. plus, but I think in a game like this, I agree, Team Secret have to be the ones hitting that timing. That's why I think it would be so good if he goes for Travels and Blink builds. Some players do it on uh, Ember, it was used quite a lot eight months ago or so. I think that would be the build in this game. Yeah, that's a very, very, very good response from LGD. Slows down the push and is very, very good against all the aura stacking. Mm. Absolutely. Secret. Is, it good enough? is it good enough to give you the LGD vote? I still think Secret uh, draft is easier to execute, so I'm going with Secret here. Well, I think Secret have the advantage going into the draft here as well. And Waga. And I'm actually on the same board. Easy execution. That's really important. Sounds fantastic. We'll see what our casters have to say. Let's send it over to them on the floor. It's going to be Draskal and OD Pixel. Gentlemen, have fun. Thank you very much, Dakota. Indeed, here we have the second best of one of the day, LGD versus Team Secret. And the two teams, that, to think that we're having them here at this stage, first round, lower bracket, it's absolutely insane. LGD with some huge, but some of the biggest names Ten in the Eastern scene remaining. against Team Secret, a team that before this was to looked at as being a, a, a lineup remaining. of all-star players. But so far in this tournament, they just haven't performed to the level that we expected. Well, let's hope they can perform in this best of one, right? Here for now to see if they can actually... You know, this is the make or break, so I'm, I'm hoping that Secret are able to pull something out Prepare here. We are going to go ahead and hop in game in just a second, but I... You know, as the draft said, Secret's lineup is very straightforward. You know, you want to go for the push, you want to just get those towers down as fast as humanly possible, and if Secret can do that, I think the LGD are going to be in a very interesting situation, but the Winter Wyvern last pick, it, it really makes me think that you know, it offers good deep push. You're going to eventually get Marana Ags. You have Ember with Sleight of Fist. They're going to have phenomenal wave clear and really good ways of taking fights. So if they can manage to survive, I think LGD could potentially take this as well. Okay, so obviously listening from the draft panel that seems to have this overwhelming feel that the secret had the stronger draft, you would say? Maybe fair enough. Well, their draft is the stronger. Stages, or? It's stronger in the sense that they have a very simple game plan and the, the draft is easy to execute, which is what the panel said. But... LGD, if they can take it to the late game and the Ember gets a lot of farm, they just have so much D push and Secret don't really have a lot of sustain. That's what, another problem. Like, there's no Oracle, there's no, you know, Coddle with an Agonims, there's no Dazzle, there's nothing to really keep the push going. So once those heroes start getting items, you're just going to eventually get whittled down and be unable to continue the push. Here we have it, ladies and gentlemen, as it all begins to, to kick off. But, I mean, we, we've talked about, obviously, in terms of draft, how LCD can deal with a push and obviously how strong of a push Secret are going to have. But in the earlier stages, in the lanes, the is there the potential begins. for one team to shut down the other early on? Is there, is there any way we could see this turning into a very one-sided match? I think it has a lot to do with how LGD decide to lane, and it looks like we will be seeing the, the Juggernaut mid just be, end up being an aggressive Ember in the safe lane. So, if the Kunkka and the... Um, 
Kunkka and the Moronico's myth to shoot an arrow or something like that and they land it, yeah, they can definitely get a kill. But I think Ember would have been a lot easier in getting reliable kills on Artor and the Alchemist. It really wanted to shut him down, but that's really the name of the game, right? Like, shut down the cores of Secret as much as you can. Because between the Terrorblade and the Alchemist, one of the two, I guess, Secret's game plan is that they're going to be able to get some level of items on them, and then just overwhelm with just sheer farm. As we can see him in the middle lane already, getting a fair bit of harassment down onto our tour. Nice. lane aggressive, playing around with Bulba. And do a good job of harassing back as we have this two-on-two -two lane up at the moment on the top. And then again, just constant torrent spams being used on Arteezy. Make sure that maybe can get the farm at the start that he needs. See how well Artor is able to deal with it. See, for the time being, this Alk is going to be left alone. So, so Arteezy not receiving any backup from his teammates at the moment in the mid lane. And Arteezy, in trouble. indeed, is maybe moving in aggressively. And Artor, oh, the green from Keep going no matter what. Don't give up halfway, as Mum told him. And he certainly went the full whole hog there. My god, Blade Dance point. That is some serious value if I've ever seen it. That's wow. gotta be so frustrating oh. as well. Like, you're getting 2v1s, you get, like, first hit crit after the spin under the tower, and you know that, like you already mentioned, there's not really gonna be any support rotations that are gonna be helping you out during the early game, so... Curious to see what Seeker's response to this is going to be. I mean, in terms of, obviously, the, the way that the mid lane's going down, are we looking at, at the side of Seeker and saying, well, at least the other side lanes are going good for them? Or is that not necessarily the case? Well, obviously, Envy is going to be having an okay time. Like, he fought meta just to force that way back a little bit in lane. Gonna see his port here. A little bit of a fight over the rune. Banana gets it. Nicely done. Panapi unable to stop Kuka from getting his hands on that pie. And you just make sure that RTZ is able to head down. Grab the bounty, couple of points and approvals at the moment. So, the bonus is going to be well received. We can see, as you said, Envy's getting farmed, but at the same time, when you look towards the mid jug, and he's actually on parallel with the farm at the safe lane. Terrorblade, so maybe don't have it. Certainly having the start that you'd need to have in a best of one situation against a side as Team Secret. Absolutely fantastic start at the moment for Chuck. Top lane, the safe lane for LGD, certainly being slowed down a little bit more than uh, Envy on the respective side. As aggressive, is having a lot more pressure put onto him, but he's still nine for two, ten for two. The CS is there. He's got the backup of MMY as well, so certainly feels this is going to be a little bit hard for Bulber and Puffy to get a kill on aggressive with this Wyvern consistently in place for the saves to be there. I feel like it's actually harder for Secret to kill LGD safely than it is for the, the reverse to happen. They're going to try to go for Puffy though, immediate TP, good response. This is kind of the what I was saying, it's when you pop the Arctic Burn, you're just taking a huge amount of damage even if you only get one auto. And then if aggressive hits you with Searing Chains and a little bit of the Flame Guard damage, you already have to back Dyer's and you have to use some regen. So they're very good at uh, efficiently trading in this lane on LGD. And you can see down bottom, realizing that Envy, he's got the space and he's got the start that he needs. Highlight Dyer's going to leave the lane and he's now come towards the mid to make sure that artiz has got the backup. He needs in case maybe goes in aggressive again. You see, so CSY's 22 for 7 against the 13 for 0. This jug certainly having the favorable time at the moment in the mid. Top lane, Banana. The eventual wraparound. Isa is on to Bulba. The X marks are set up and aggressive. Moving in with the flame guard. A bit of stun onto Banana. The damage isn't going to quite be enough. Puppy's trying to chase him down. But Bulba, he looks to be the one to fall in this engagement as LTD find themselves a second the second with body blocks from aggressive. They're going to hit the torrent. And LTD, they get themselves another double kill for MMY. Four minutes in already, the lanes looking to go very Radiant favorably for the side of LGD. Yeah, this is exactly what they want as well. Just shutting down the lanes as hard Radiant's as they can. Artor has attack. already been forced into buying the Iron Talon in the middle lane just because his laning phase has been more or less a struggle. And as we already mentioned, it's it's just so much easier for LGD to get kills with their heroes during the early game. Secret really do have two defensive postured supports. Just Avenge Sun is not going to be enough in, in order to get a kill. It might pressure, but that's not really... It's not enough at this point. Easy, of course. It's going to have these stacks to help catch up farm of, of maybe, and it's going to get to the point as well where they've got to be very careful in the mid lane. Maybe just about to hit six on the jug. We'll have the only slash ready for the next fight. So you've got to be very careful how close they come to the jug and how much they poke him. Top lane, Bulba has been left alone once again. Puppy in a movement at the moment towards the mid. Support, so I ain't got maybe, but indeed, maybe oh, he just comes in and rips Puppy to shreds. Oh, 
4-0, LGD just playing games with Secret at the moment. Why? Has to disrupt some runs. Gonna be able to get himself away from the DD Jug. Maybe two kills, 36 CS. This is a fantastic start for the mid Jug. I mean, everyone in LGD is just doing well. Even, you know, you look at Zhao Wei, and bottom lane is level 5. He's still got 20 CS. That's the same CS as Artor has right now on an off lane Morana. And a lot of that's just due to the fact that secret supports have been having to rotate around to address the issues in other lanes. So LGD are making the proper movements going for kills. Oh, Envy. Close the gap here. The booster speed for the leap of Zhao Wei trying to get a range of the X-Mark, and he's got it. Won't have the damage or will they? They've given an arrow. A pie is there with a the defensive disruption and an LGD. They won't get away with a kill down here on the bottom lane this time. Pie's there in time with the save. But still, I mean, if you're secret, obviously a bit of a shaky start. Maybe even it's not going to stop at that because maybe this man getting all the runes in the world. He's got a hate. Ball was gone. Killing spree for maybe. Mummy's proud. This is. Dude, you can hear the chance. He's going completely ham this oh game. Oh my goodness. The ward obviously paying dividends there. They saw him doing the creep camp and I don't know if the Hawk Heather's in a position, right? So attack. I'm not entirely sure why he didn't back sooner because I think he would have seen the Juggernaut coming, but a little bit unfortunate there. The Beastmaster dropping. Maybe just has no fear right now. Just aggressively walking forward. 30 seconds and Omni Slash is going to be the, at the ready again. So another potential free kill. A secret come too close. It's easy just trying to move in for the farm, but maybe being able to get the first hit crits every time onto this out. I'm sure that Artor can't find the farm that he needs. That's easy, obviously, with the stacks. is starting to catch back up. Working towards that armor builder, of course, as well on the Alchemist. But you can see net worth maybe comfortably Dyer's at the top of the moment this game. Is under attack. Now, Radiant's Secret, you're looking you're looking for the attack. Beastmaster Roar, I think, first and foremost. Like, Sam needs to hit level 6, and, and once that happens, hit a Beastmaster Roar. There's not really a reliable save on the side of the make sure you have the, the Cold Embrace, but I'm pretty sure you can still kill through that if you're Secret. And they're going to need those rotations to be successful, because these, these cores are just going to need some room. I mean, sure, the Alchemist is starting to recover now. He's been getting some jungle creeps. He's back up to 42 CS, so he's kind of brought himself back into the game. Oh, look at it. Only slash at the ready. Maybe in banana. Radiant's They're looking for Artizi. If Artizi gets caught here. Oh, he's got to hope that he can get out. <laughs> Gonna hope for some backup. There is backup from Secret, so it looks like they won't move in for the kill. But still, positions like that, as we've seen the aggression from LGD come out at top. Aggressive. Jumping in aggressively with the remnants. MMY trying to close the gap as well onto Puppy. Still continue to chase down, but now I got the catch. Puppy's gonna be fine this time. The LGD with the last couple of plays, unable to find the catch that they're looking for. Banana. Got eyes Radiant's towards Artor, and there is a jug coming around from behind. Maybe he's gotta be careful. There's a hell of a lot of players with secret here. Oh, he's got an invis. Again, maybe get a, gets a DD, a haste rune, an invis rune. He seems to be, you know, pulling runes out his backside. I mean, if they split up, he's just waiting for them to separate. He can go for a kill. Envy has a mango, though. Envy and Puppy, they've got to stay close. Oh, no. they've been left behind, and maybe... Dominating streak. It just doesn't get any better at the moment for the Jug. Might be in trouble, though. Oh, he is! He has got an Omni. We'll see how he plays his way out of this one. He's just going to run. Healing Ward's out. There's the roar. Maybe. He may be shut down this time. He goes to the Blade Fury. Continues to move back. Banana is there. They're and the not going to get it. He gets himself out. Radiant's top tower is under attack. I mean, this whole game at Radiant's the moment is just a highlight clip for maybe. It's... He's honestly playing out of his mind. And I mean, in this situation when you're Juggernaut, there's just so many opportunities for you to go for these aggressive plays because the supports just don't do anything. It's like, sure, you have this defensive save. You can stop his TP. But if you don't have a follow-up stun, even having Roar wasn't enough because nobody deals damage. Like, the meta was already down from killing the Ancient stack. There was just nothing to follow up Radiant's the damage, and he just walks it off. Is under attack. And meanwhile, Zhao Wei, you know, off lane Mirana, he's he's racking up the farm, he's getting all the space in the world to put pressure onto it here too as well. They forgot he existed in this game. They're worried about the Juggernaut 24-7 because maybe just on their side of the map attack. finding kills with haste runes and invis and double damage. I'm losing a tier 2, 10 minutes in on Radiant's their safe lane, secret. Losing map control, losing game control at the moment against LGD. No, aggressive. <laughs> you want taking that bounty a... rune, son? You're not getting it. Yeah, taking bounty rune away from Alchemist is really big. 
a huge influx of gold for him that he now does not have access to. Looks like three members of LGD. They they are just hungry right now for blood. And I like this as well from maybe. He, he's picked up the Yak as well. So we saw in that last instance where they've got the disruption the raw, but after that he drops the healing ward, he runs away. I mean good luck chasing this man down now. Yeah, it's it's a pretty standard opening. Like he could go back with the battle here if he wants, uh, or he can just go straight into the SMI or go Mantha Defusal. I, I think his options are pretty open in this game. And with already having the mass amount of decoys, he may just opt for the more aggressive choice. And just let his teammates uh, soak a little bit more from the map. Ooh, he's setting up to try for something here. They may get back up and shall In fact, putting an arrow on to find oh, and They're gonna try and move in. MMY setting up. Now looking for the kill of DSD. Pylite die. Disrupts himself. And it's not gonna save him those LGD finish through the kill. Seven kills in at the moment and secret not to be able to get a taste for blood themselves. Maybe he's there looking for the kill. Mega kill streak. It just doesn't stop for the jug. My goodness, this is just an absolute clinic being put on by LGD right now. All of their movements so far in the early game have been successful. I mean, you could probably attribute a lot of the early game ganks to just the runes that maybe he was getting, but that's what happens when you actually can control them. That's the big issue that Secret had this game is there was only like one or, I think it was, what, one rune that Secret actually got? The Arcane rune, the Invis, the DD, and the Haste that maybe got back to back. All of those runes pretty much resulted in kills. That is not okay if you're Secret. Like, you need to stop LGD from getting on your side of the map. You need to stop them from getting these constant kills, slow the pace down, and try to get some farm on your heroes before you just get overwhelmed. That's all. Finally does get himself the, the bounty room. Maybe he was hanging up, but not quite close enough to, to close the gap. You can already see a movement from Secret sending four arrows up towards the top lane. Pi and Envy smoked up. Ready for a play. I mean, getting a kill, or at least transitioning this move into taking a tier one. Maybe even putting some pressure Dyer's onto a tier two would be great for Secret. Attack. Send the Hawk over. Well, they can find behind lines. And indeed, Ammo is there at the moment. A scam from LGD will confirm suspicions that Secret are there. Being ready to push into position, and LGD, they're heading over, they're ready to fight, there's a DD at the moment, still active on aggressive, he's got a TP available if he wants to join the fight as well, let's see how LGD kick this off. Secret, no for it, so you're welcome, but they're taking a while to fight first, so, actually a good start for Secret, get themselves a kill, Bobber goes for the TP out, he's not going to make it though, aggressive, chains into Zhao A's arrow, so they end up finding a trade, LGD losing a support, taking a core, We'll be fine with that, and LGD do hold the tower. I would say in the grand scheme of things, that trade is probably okay, just because Arteezy is able to farm during this time. Although they will lose the tower in the process, more than likely, so... LGD is still pretty much executing their game plan. I don't think that Secret are going to be able to kill this tower, though. I would expect LGD to defend this, given how far ahead they are. And again, Metamorphosis is going to be down here from MD, so I'm not sure if they can even deal enough damage to the tower in the first place to get it. LGD, absolutely ruthless with these pushes. 13 minutes in, they're taking tier 1s, tier 2s from both the top and bottom lane. Just a tier 2 standing in the mid on the side of Secret. A push from LGD at this pace of the game, it, it just can't be stopped. And I guess this is something that we expected when you see Secret with a lineup such as the Out and the Terrorblade. At this point of the game, if, if the enemy starts to step up the heat, there's no lot you can do to slow it down. Well, that's why I was kind of talking about the, the damage output. There's Pi. Yes. Got a run, he's got a high for Zhao Aang straight away with an arrow. Another kill for LGD. This is getting very, very messy for Secret. And on a podium where they needed to perform, they need to step it up. But 14 minutes in, falling behind. RTZ, he is still top of the net worth, but only just... And it's certainly not the lead above that you hope to have as an alchemist at this stage of a game. Radiance middle tower LGD is under attack. Finish the job off in the mid lane, take that final tier two away from the side of Secret. And this is a bit Radiance of a problem position as we can see now. This time around, Secret, full five man, up on the high ground. No one's being able to get anything done on the side. The scary thing after this for Secret is just, you know, we talked about OGD being able to push out lanes very well once they start to get items. Well, they're going to get all the item progression, they've taken all your towers, and they're also going to get Roshan. Like, Secret contesting that pit is going to be so difficult when they're this far behind. They need their cores to have more items before they start going for these fights, and LGD just aren't giving them any breathing room. They're just getting slowly asphyxiated and, and just losing engagement after engagement. They've gotten one kill. 15 minute game.
You can obviously with all the outer towers it's gone. I mean, let's talk high ground defense for Secret. Is, is it even that good holding a base against the push of LGD? I think it's actually a little bit difficult for LGD to go high ground at such an early stage, but their lineup is very good at controlling the map. You know, we talk about lane shove and stuff like that, and what it really means is that Secret are going to be so busy killing creeps that are outside of their base that they won't really have time to do anything else. So what happens is you just lose control of your jungle, all the lanes are pushing constantly, and LGD farms all three lanes and the woods and has Roshan control for an extended period of time. And usually that just means that Secret will fall too far behind in terms of golden experience and just ultimately lose because they can't keep up with items. And that's probably the way that LGD go about this. Now sure, there's always a factor where you can get a, a pick off and go for Rosh or get a pick off and go for base. It's always possible thing for Secret right now, it's, it's just desperation trying to find farm. And this smoke as well, three of them coming out. They can find maybe on the Juggernaut, that'd be absolutely huge. The question is if they are actually going to be able to, to have the damage to finish him off. He is going to walk in into them, so if he gets out the Metamorphosis with the roll, the they kill. The control, that's the kill the Secret needed. That is a big kill. Pretty much. Certainly, they're going to need a few more of those, yeah. but that is, that is a way to kick it off. And they do have the Radiance now on the Alchemist. All things considered, this is still a pretty decent timing. LGD, Murana ulti looking for something. Behind the tree. What a oh, torrent! The torrent from Banana connects, but can't quite find Puppy. Actually reveal his position with the Wave of Terror. It's Magi Missile onto Jawa. Envy's coming across as well. The Pylon die already down the boat! Onto both of them though! They've lost the second secret. Bulber and Envy looking towards aggressive, but he remnants away. LGD happy with the two kills and now getting themselves out, but unable to punish them. Secret losing the two supports, but not. Oh! Oh, oh, no! oh! oh! He drunk his rum, but he drunk too much. He was he was absolutely off the edge there. He was he was pissed out his mind that man. He uh, thought he could get away and uh, he couldn't. What a mad man! <laughs> he wasn't walking in the straight line. He was definitely that much. drunk. Yeah. Too much. It, it too happens much rum. sometimes, you yeah. know. Yeah. You forget how much damage you actually take with the, the buff on, and then you're like, oh, oh, I'm actually... I'm invincible! Yeah. Nope. It does, it does happen to the best of us, but LGD is still in a, a pretty good position. Uh, Blink now picked up on the Winter Wyvern, so his positioning in teamfights... You know, you get a good curse, and you're playing against, like, Beastmaster and Terrorblade, you just annihilate anybody if they get caught in that radius. So, another thing that Secret are going to have to be very, very concerned about. And as the, the game kind of stretches on, the Beastmaster Roar, we, that's like one of their main forms of initiation. You can have that cold embrace and it just stops so much of the incoming damage because Alchemist and Terrorblade, a lot of it is physical. And it really is a lot. Kind of similar to the series we saw this morning. It's, it is going to be relying on the TB damage output. Obviously for TNC it, it worked wonders, but indeed they didn't have the same heroes that we'll she could have got to deal with. In terms of stopping the damage output of the blade. Now, 18 minutes in, Zhao 8. Akonims is done on the Marana. Very, very scary item pickups coming out from the side of LGD. LGD with the smoke movement, they're ready to react Dyer's to Secret's top potential top push up top. Attack. But it looks like Secret already aware that something's going on. And I'm going to stick around for this, and they're straight out of there. So good awareness of Secret, avoiding the rotation from LGD. And Secret will still get the tower done with the Necro units. You know, slowly but surely, Secret are clawing their way back into this. Yeah, LGD are still ahead. They haven't managed to secure Roshan. Secret are starting to get a little bit of the map back in their control. You know, they're forcing LGD to move around a bit. It's a sign of life that the Secret they desperately need. LGD to D ward Secret. Moment keeping together as a team. In case any rotation comes around from the side of LGD. We can see obviously with the, the Alchemist RTZ furiously pushing the lanes out, making it a lot harder for uh, LGD to get away with these movements over secret side of the map. Oh, this could be big. Dyer's middle tower. It, this could either be tower. amazing or Radiant's real bad. Tower. They're in the road pit fight. He's going for the bait. He says, guys, oh no, come and get me, LGD! And this is worse. This is so worse. So worse. Pi, he's done his job, and Secret take the Roshan, get RTZ the Aegis. That was such a good move. Pi Lai die with the uh, intentional plays. That is what you call tanking the gank Absolutely. in a big way. That was so important for Secret. LGD 
they don't have the easiest team to go high ground with. You know, Ember is not really a tower hitter. Murana with Aghanim's not really a tower hitter. Juggernaut does okay. But the, the problem is you're against this Terra Blade who can pop meta and, and hit you and you have to push into Acid Spray and all these other illusions and it's just... It's not easy for LGD to go for tier 3s and without the use of an Aegis, it's even harder. That allows Secret to delay the game a bit. I mean, LGD are eventually going to have their Battle Furies out on the Juggernaut and the Ember, so it will eventually have, be this power spike where the cores are able to just shove lanes almost indefinitely, and that's always going to be a problem, but Secret taking oh. that objective. That's all just scaring off Ember aggressive. As you said, you know, both the cores get to Battle Fury. I mean, obviously with them now working towards the Battle Fury, once they've got that done, do you expect CLGD just utilizing that to, to continue to farm up, or do they still want to fight at this point? Are they waiting for any further items now to tackle Secret? I think it's just keep the lanes pushed as hard as you can. Lane Equilibrium is something that their lineup does very well. And against Secret, who don't really have great ways of initiating outside of just Beastmaster, I think it's a, a pretty good way to play the game because then it's it becomes much more obvious what Secret are doing out on the map. But Secret not wanting to give them an opportunity. They're only going to see the Alchemist right now. Everyone else under the guise of smoke. But I, did they? No, they didn't see the Hawk Summon. The Hawk was summoned before the smoke, so they didn't see that uh, pop out either. They have some kind of idea though that this is a bait. With that D-board down, LGG. Where there's something fishy is going on. You see Secret, they realize that the Pylite die bait was successful earlier. They're seeing if they can pull off the same strat, but LGD wants to fall for the same trick twice. Secret though, with the lane pushing around, they are getting themselves in a position to tap up a tier two. Walk down. LGD well aware of what's going on on this top lane. Secret, they might not be afraid to show their hand. We'll see how heavy they want to go in on this push. Dyer's see how LGD reacts. Already two TPs back to the to the tier Dyer's three. Mm, make that the third. Ella. LGD are ready to try and form some sort of a defense. Moonlight Shadow for Xiao to, to help try and get in position. From the very far end. They're looking to our tour. The car will connect. Mm, let's see if they chase this down. Down to half health. Be able to tank it off. Head back. Still, this is just the three here. Neither Jog, maybe, or Aggressive Ember is around. Looks like the three of them, Xiaoi, MMY, and Banana, will be able to stop the push from Secret. It's still okay situation here for Secret. Obviously, they'd like a few more kills under their pocket, or maybe a little bit more map control for the time being. Just getting that Roshan, allowing Envy and RTZ to continue farming all this time. It's quite a big deal for them to make sure that they're staying inside of the game. But as soon as it fades, I would assume that LGD are going to go for some kind of aggressive play. They want to reestablish complete control of the map. You can see their aggressive wards. They have an idea that... Obviously, Secret are going to be farming their jungle. We'll see if they can get that map control if they, they want so desperately. Nice. Obviously, at this point, they do still have the yeah, Aegis on RTZ. Not for much longer, though. It's probably coming to the end of this lot. I think it's got like a minute 30 or a minute left right now. And then once that's gone, do you imagine we'll, we'll see Secret once again just, just playing it safe until they're able to get their hands on the next Aegis? If you're Secret at this point, there's no point in trying to, to do anything too aggressive without the Aegis. Now they, I think they want to continue to dodge fights. Their high ground is pretty good. It's making sure that LGD can't crack the base, not giving them any opportunities to get you know somebody picked off on the side of Secret and then LGD get an opportunity to go high ground. Oh, he has Blink. Is he, he going to go for this? No. Hot Easy is rather far in on his own. Bolts off cooldown in five seconds. Banana is going to spot him. See how he plays his way around this one as there is a juggernaut and a winter wife and inbound. Hot Easy's going to go for the TP out. Not going to make it though. MMY cancelling the TP with his ultimate and Artor left alone. Tried to come out for some farm, but the Aegis is down. Any kind of reaction from Secret? We're seeing the four man head straight over there. Hot Easy. Gonna try and buy himself some time. The man to the army, it's all gonna all! Oh, oh, he's turned around and he gets next smart back, will be brought down. The secret realizing that the outs are lost course. And make sure there's no more casualties up top. But oh hey, sneaky fear too. Yes, please, says Envy. Norman needs the bomb pocket off Terrorblade. But it did cost them all to a lot. It was about the best thing that could have happened. I thought the response was a bit strange. Uh, they were really far away. Night Shadow though. It's a smart sentry. Make sure that they don't get caught off as Zhao indeed. Missing forward aggressive as well. Remnanting in, looking for a kill. They found Pylai dying. Drop the demonic purge on aggressive, but none of the rest of Secret are going to want to follow that through. LGD. Take themselves another. 
continue to keep themselves in this very, very strong position. So we can see MV at this point on the Terra Blade picks up a BKB, so preparing a little bit more for these fights by the looks of it, Yeah, he just realizes that LGD want to try to go high ground. That's a really good choice, I think, because if you get hit by you know, Ember Spirit, Juggernaut Spin, just the Mirana damage as well with the, with the Aghanim Scepter, it, it can be a lot for a Terra Blade to deal with. And he still does a ton of damage with meta, even without the use of like a, an additional item like Mana Style. So I think the itemization is just saying, if you try to go high ground, we're going to have the strongest defense possible. And we still farm at a pretty decent rate, even though LGD are doing the best they can to try to pressure in the situation. But again, it's, it's a best of one, right? So you need to be prepared for the high ground push of LGD if they want to go in. Absolutely, it's certainly a, a position in the game that's, that's very easy for you to chest. throw it away. As you said, LGD, and that they can take their time here. Not too much pressure being felt at all. Especially when you continue to look at uh, just comparisons like the Farmer Xiao 8 compared to Bulba. Fair gap at the moment between the Mirana and the Beastmaster. And certainly where the biggest gap lies so far amongst the team. Arteezy now beginning to get himself to be ahead. Maybe Juggernaut. Thanks to the Radius and the Manta, he's picking up the farm on the Alchemist to, to a pace that Secret needs it to be at. RTZ certainly stepping up his game after the first few blunders in the mid lane early on. He's getting there. The, the question is, is he getting there fast enough? Because I feel like already having, you know, multiple battle theories out on LGD, I'm, I'm pretty sure that at some point, when push comes to shove, that during fights, the Alchemist just isn't really... He's not far ahead enough. You know, we look at some of the previous games, you see almost double net worth of the next highest person. And unfortunately, he's just not in that position right now. So, I'm kind of concerned that if Secret delay the game too long just to make sure the Alchemist gets items, then both the Juggernaut and the Ember are going to have items. Even, you know, Zhao Wei is going to have items. And then you're pretty much playing like two cores against three at that stage. And I'm not sure if, if Secret can afford to do that. So, there needs to come a point where Secret are feeling confident enough to take a fight on their own terms and really get something big off the map and, and take something away from LGD. GG, run across again, secret though, reading the situation very, very well, all on the high ground, LGD unable to find anyone with this, this movement, GG, I have his eyes on Xiao at the moment, as we keep saying, you know, this, this man has had a, an incredible game, he's been given so much space, 3-0-5, another farm to that of his own safe lane, aggressive Ember Spirit, and this is... Very, very scary for Secret. They, they've really got to hold on. As you said, it, it's not necessarily enough if they prolong the game because of the fact that LGD have these two Battle Fury farming cores. So in that sense, are you saying that Secret, they do need to look for fights? They actually need to take a fight, but they need to take a fight when they have the proper items. I think that they, the way that Envy itemized, like buying the BKB at such an early stage, oh, that's, a, that's a really unfortunate stack to be taken away. That's, that's going to hurt. And there's just so many things that are going that's going well for LGD. If we go back to the beginning of the game and how much maybe was dominating with his, his ridiculous rune RNG, and that just set the pace for LGD to completely take over during the early mid game. Oh, and around with the DD rune. LGD, they are moving across as well, Xiao Wei. Jumping forward, looking for the arrow. Poppy, Poppy, Poppy! Oh, arrow to the face, the defensive disruption from Pi, will by probably seven times, but Jai moves in, takes him down, and he pops the BKB, he can take down, maybe, maybe, he's got to be careful now, he's got to back up, MV, looks to chase them down, bit of an awkward sunder there, doesn't really achieve too much, and now Jai hey, jumps straight back in, aggressive hits the chains onto MV, another defensive disruption from Pi, Keeping MB alive, MMY drops the up, but we can see our easy delusion, beating down on MMY, they'll lose the Wyvern with this fight, LGD, just finding the 1-1 one -one trade there, so Secret very happy to get out with, with minimal losses, keeping MV alive in, in a situation where LGD threw down everything at him, some, some big disruptions from Pi that time. That certainly could have gone a heck of a lot worse. I'm pretty sure as soon as MV thundered, LGD were like screaming to go in. Get him. Because he has no BKB, he has no thunder, and they have blink on Jao so I'm, I'm actually surprised that LGD didn't commit to that a little bit harder. You even saw the Winter's Curse being used on him when the disruption ended because his own illusions are actually hitting him, and MV was at like, you know, 10-15% health. Roshan's going to be up real soon, so LGD might not have wanted to take that risk and just, you know, keep their established map control to make sure that when they go for Roshan, the Secret aren't going to be able to get into that one one position where you can actually go in and take a team fight. And in terms of fighting around the Roshan pit, 
How good are the tools that Secret have at this stage? I mean, the Beastmaster Vision is nice, but realistically, engaging on what LGD have is very difficult is given mine. their hero composition. Like, they're more made for this siege lineup Shut where you're using Illusion to the Alchemist and the Terra Blade to hit buildings and such. You're not really built for a Roshan fight. You can kill it very fast if the enemy team's not ready. Right. The oh. arrow's gonna catch Pi. Go in, there'll be no defensive disruptions from LGD. Backing off, it was just the two of them, the, the Kukra and the Mirana that was in the neighborhood. Didn't want to pull through onto Secret. But now picked up by Boulder, so they are going to have that. A bit of setup the, with the Blink Roar, but at the same time, you've got to look at the fact, you know, aggressive. He has got that Lincoln Sphere and over on Xiao Wei. He's pretty much got one done as well, so, so nearly two of the calls with Lincoln's up. That's going to put a bit of a, a spanner in the works for, for Boulder looking for the initiation. Going to make it much, or that much harder to fight around Roshan as well. Secret, they realize how important Roshan is. They they don't want to go back to their side of the map and farm and allow LGD to just get the, get to that Roshan pit uncontested. They want to try to take something away. If we're not going to fight around Rosh, we're going to at least pressure a tier two. We're going to push the other lane so you can't just walk up to our base. <laughs> Doing everything they can to put themselves in a better position right now. And as we can see, it's, in terms of pressure, it's working perfectly. They managed to pull the lane around right towards the tier two in the mid. Top lane has been kept shut right up to the doors of LGD's face. And LTG into the pit, having to take down Roche. Secret at the moment in LTG's jungle. They're going to have to head over it quick if they want to have a chance of contesting this. But LTG already taking it down to half health. Four coming across as Secret well aware of what's going on. Looks like they're going to make the decision not to contest it. And we'll just look for the tier 2 trade instead. Fight for them around the Roche entry. The, the heroes that they have are not really well built fighting in that explosive space. So they're going to give it up. They were at least able to clear the tier 2, which. You know, Dyer's having the middle top and top lane push just attack. takes LGD a little bit longer to make use of that Aegis. Smoke is going to be up just in time here, so it's going to be purchased by the Winter Wyvern, and I assume as soon as LGD get their lanes up just a little bit, I don't want to use some kind of aggressive smoke just to force Secret back again and re-establish their map control. I'm not sure, LGD, how do you deal with this amount of kind of split push pressure that, that Secret are putting on? Is it a case of just grouping up as five and going, or do you yourself have to, to kind of split your resources across the lane and try and bring all lanes in in tandem back over to Secret's half of the map at the same time? I think for now, it's probably a little bit better to just split up the map if you're Secret, because fighting into the five man of LGD, if they have Aegis, is really tough. And LGD also have very good wave clear themselves, so it's going to be this constant war between both of the teams trying to make sure that they're keeping the lanes pushed in some regard. But as time goes on, it's you know it's gonna get easier for LGD, because that Ember is gonna get more farm, he's gonna get a damage item, probably after this Lincoln's unless he feels like he needs to blink. Yeah, he just goes crit instead, so he's uh, he's gonna start hitting real hard real soon. That's the thing as well. I mean looking at LGD's lineup, they they seem to have the, the kind of perfect uh, balance of both physical burst and, and magical burst. You, know, you look towards the Marana, uh, even the Kunku with his boat and Torrent, and then obviously with the Jug, the Ember Spirit, they seem to have all fronts covered in, in terms of when it comes to taking down Secrets and uh, Secrets Courts. They have all their bases covered, and it makes it very difficult to itemize. Because when you have a, a good damage split, one item isn't just like super OP. Maybe proving again, they are one of the better teams here. It's a pretty, pretty immaculate performance at the moment. Secret form of it to slow it down. Good. GD, put on the pressure, I mean, you can see already from the D-push, maybe takes a fair bit of damage. He loses the secret send out to hold back the side. But they have got the cells sustained thanks to the Joe Healing Ward. And it's easy doing his best to just cut the creeps off and, and make sure that LGD aren't going to have the chance to, to bring a wave up to the high ground of secret. Eventually, that's you know, certainly going to happen with LGD grouped up as they are around mid. Ready to put pressure on, ready to try and make the most use they can out of the Aegis or maybe at the moment. I mean, they can get some chip damage on the tier 3. Bit of an arrow magnet in this game. Uh, so LGD won't be able to do anything off the back of that connection. Now they're just moving, get some damage onto the tier 3. Secret. See what the response is. Shiva's coming out from Artor. LGD will scatter. Even if they don't necessarily do a ton of damage each push, they will eventually get the tower and then the Rax is being exposed for the secret to make a decision on whether they want to fight or not. Two minutes left now. They want to at least get the tower before the Aegis fades, which should be pretty easy for them to do. So 
problem. You've already sent aggressive back because you're aggressive, able to zip. Injury back over if the fight requires it. Maybe. And beginning to build a nice little sum of money in his bank. 4.3k. Probably needs an iron force still holding on to that Aegis in one of his slots. Octarina has been complete by Arteezy, so the deep push is certainly going to get a little bit easier because he can spam out even more on his waves. Harder for Obi to break the base, but now they're going to come in hard. Moonlight Shadow pops as well. They're ready to take a fight against Secret if they come in with the defense. Aggressive, trying to pop the slide out. Kawai jumps in, the burst onto Puppy. The defensive destruction keeps him alive. And then Kawai takes just in time. Hold it, Puppy's going to get out. Hold it, Brace. Kawai's still alive. Heavy trying to get the damage in, but it's not enough to save NMY. Allowing Kawai to stand right in front of the side of Secret and get himself the hell out. My god, Cold Embrace and the Rum together saving Xiao Wei. They're even going to use the exit, uh, exit Boost to bring him back. So they buy a Sal as well too, just maximum efficiency here. That was so clutch. And again, showcasing why it's so good against the team. They're just mostly physical damage. So as soon as the Burst is thrown out, if you get the Cold Embrace, you just can't die. This point of course, LGD. Taking the tier 3. It's now exposed. He picks up a hood, trying to help with the burst that LGD do have when they jump in. We are getting to the point where it's uh, pretty much less than a minute left on that Aegis. We'll see how much more LGD are able to achieve with it. As we really are seeing, I mean, the, the amount of illusions being sent out with these mantas, the disruption illusions. Secret can safely push these lanes back out. Deceptive it's just a question of how hard LGD can can jump past that deep push and get themselves stuck into a fight inside Secret's base. Aggressive, the Invis rune. Let's see if he can get a catch onto anyone on the side of Secret that comes out, but at the moment, they're not gonna fall for it. Not easy. Keeping himself well and truly up on the high ground. LGD, not the time to, to push in again. Yeah, he just is not gone. I mean, how much of an issue is this for LGD that they're unable to, to take the racks at this stage? Are, are you feeling worried if you're LGD, or can you play around this? Do you know that there's going to be a point where Secret have to leave the base, and then you feel that you've got the superior fight to take them down? How do you kick off a high ground push now? I think you're looking... Oh, okay, there's a Daedalus. I was going to say, you're looking for the Daedalus to be complete. That just boosts the damage output a tremendous amount, especially when you're talking about illusions. And one good slight assist, you can take down the mana style, you can take down the Paraglade illusions as well. And that's going to allow a lot more time for LGD to actually hit buildings, whereas right now, they're, you can see they're still kind of struggling a little bit to take down the illusions of the Alchemist and the Terrorblade. I mean, you do have to leave the base at some point to win the game if you're secret, so even if LGD sit here for like 30 minutes and just keep doing this, at the very least, they know that they have an effort. Like the destruction from Pi, aren't easy. Knock himself away from the boat, Puppy! Actually swapping maybe back! Puppy can take down maybe, but again, the quality break from Anna White, keeping maybe alive. They've lost Puppy, Envy, pulse the BKB. No man, no. Onto maybe, getting forced out, they kill the jug. It's a beautiful secret, but they need more idol to aggress. Oh, and it's all nerfed up from Envy! But the follow-up damage, is it there? This doesn't look like an aggressive remnants away. OGD, they've lost the jug. Secret only losing Puppy in return, so big fight. Good plays there from MB, keeping LGD away from sticking around for more, securing the team fight win for the side of Secret, and a successful defense of that as well. The Cold Embrace actually ended up backfiring a bit there because maybe he got all his mana burned by the Necro Book while he was inside of the Cold Embrace, so as soon as it ends, he couldn't Omni Slash, he couldn't spin, no healing ward, no nothing. He was just a juggernaut with no abilities to use, and unfortunately for him, the physical damage output on Secret was a bit too much for him to handle. Very nice as there from Team Secret. Alright, setting up on the Jow, right? Lead back. Now we'll stop the advance of Secret, but aggressive! Oh, oh Chugs Pie to pieces! A couple of crits to, to remove the Shadow Demon from the game. And as we're seeing now, at this point, you cannot mess with Aggressive and his Flaming Swords. It's only gonna get worse, too. He's gonna get another damage item, whether it be MKB or, you know, maybe a second Daedalus. He really, really needs that illusion clearing capability for his team. Secret, obviously now at this point with LGD backing off the pressure. Giving Secret the, the security to feel that they can come out. Try and get a little bit more done outside on the map. Arteezy heading towards the top. 
6.6k. I mean, how can we expect to see this build from uh, from the Alchemist continue? I mean, are we going to get into territory where Aghanim's for any certain hero is going to be uh, pretty big if RTC is able to give it to the team? I mean, the Aghanims for Secrets team are, are pretty good. I mean, the Shadow Demon Aghanims is pretty good. The three chargers and the break. And then you also have the Venge one as well, so you can get, like, the offensive Vengeance Aura, which takes away damage, and the bonus Vengeance Aura at the same time. That one's also kind of good. There's not, like, in my opinion, any game-breaking Aghanims on their team, per se. I guess you're, like, disabling Jug's crit, the Shadow Demon Ags. It's not really, like, super crazy or anything. It, it still helps, you know, it gives you stats. It gives you a little bit more utility. Diffusal picked up as well, Fran Vic. Uh, similar in the sense, uh, as you said, obviously before the Necro books burning the mana, now you've got to worry about Envy burning it as well if you're Cold Embrace, so... You're certainly going to have to play a little bit more careful around the way that MMY looks to save his teammates. Secret, ready to come out on the map with the smoke. Roshan is going to be back up in about less than a minute. Secret knowing that this is the time to, to hit hard at LGD. Under pick off so they can assert some sort of dominance around this this timing and area of the map. As Roshi is about to be back, but he's going to lead him. Yes, the swap into the raw, maybe. Caught out. The corner break, but again, the map is going, it's going, it's gone. Look at Fiona, but it's on illusion and not easy. Chasing aggressive off to the side. MP pops the BKB. OGD will have to back off. Secret won't quite get a kill. But as we're seeing, Secret now managing to build up the courage to, to get the jump in themselves. They can't fight this anymore though. They just used everything and they didn't get the kill on the Juggernaut. He's already pretty much back up to full health, full mana. There's also a, a DD on Ember. He's got a rim of bottom lane if he wants to go back. That's easy. Straight pass, clearing out the wave, allowing the space for Envy to take this tier 1 aggressive. He's got a DD, he's got a DD, you gotta be careful! What if this spam and okay, the core on tour. He needs a bit of help, he needs a bit of save there. It's a of disruption from Pi. Is it gonna be enough to allow him to get out? Up here again with the swap. Everything we use to try and get RTC out of there. But maybe who's in with the only stats a lot of illusion. Oh my god! Already down! Envy's already dropped as well! They've lost the gem! LGD! <laughs> Running perfectly, RTZ! I'm a feeling he's gonna be chased a little bit, as you can see. LGD looking for him aggressive. I'm gonna catch out Artur, Arteezy at the moment, just obviously pulling LGD away from getting any objectives complete. So like LGD, they'll ignore him for now. And they'll just make sure that they're able to keep some pressure on on the mid lane. After finding these two kills and avoid wasting any further time chasing down the Alchemist. That had to have been like the best Omni Slash ever. He bounced all the way through the creep wave back to Envy and then he gets a crit immediately after and to prevent getting stunned. Like that was... Couldn't have asked for Arteezy. Then saved by Pi's disruption from an absolutely a huge for holding secret on in this game. Nice six will have MB back up. RTZ taking a lot of physical damage from aggressive. The stone will hold back the ember. RTZ trying to turn the run. He's never got caution. But the old from Ember to Boba looks to just hold secret back. LGD not ready to fall into this one. Boba getting himself incredibly low. Has to get himself back to base. The swap from Puppy bringing Chow back. That looks a bit more than take it. Uh, secret getting themselves one. RTZ hanging around with maybe there'll be a buyback from Chow. He four boxes, but he wants to come straight back into the fight here. Realizing that maybe they can use this point to, to go for some sort of power play against Secret. Especially with Roshan back on the map as well. This is a very tense point of the game, and LGD... ...with Xiao Wei back in with that buyback. Gonna head straight to the pit. Easy shot. Secret... ...see if they have a chance or even the time to get over here, because LGD are gonna take this one incredibly fast. Aghanim is now coming out from RTZ. He gave it to Pi. He's so giving it to Pi. Yeah, he's yeah. got the triple perch. Doesn't look like they're going to get here in time though. OGD. He's down Roche. Secret. And making their best attempt to get over there, but it's down. And Aegis. Picked up again by maybe. Oh, it's easy. Coming in. For the concoction, but Secret. They really want to try and find this one, Puppy. Just for a swap, and maybe Broad held back. MB coming up with the damage as well. Looking towards the rest of the Renders away. They're going to lose Puppy. Puppy the first to fall. MB. He did it. Three. Hit hero, son. Maybe. Oh, the he's got for the MB. Oh, my. MB down as well. On TZ again. Why? He's doing his best to save his team, but this isn't going to save our draw for sure. LGD chasing him down, RTZ trying to play his way around it, but he's going to get beat down as well, maybe with a double kill. And secret at this moment, I don't know if it's out of frustration, but choosing to take fights in, in situations where there's high chance it's going to go wrong, Andy.
think they're just running out of options. They feel like they need to do something. They've just been playing a very passive game, letting LGD pretty much do whatever they want. We'll get a chance to watch this again. And it's just showcasing the amount of damage that Aggressive does in these fights. He's gonna get a slight of fist off after the BKB of Envy. That just pretty much shows him. And it's, it's just painful. The Omni Slash, slight of fist, and even Pylite Die couldn't get the disruption out of time. Back from Arta, TV for this event. But uh, remember, you know, amongst all of this LGD have still been able to take the mid racks. You may see that change now, though, maybe. And aggressive, takes the range. Look towards the melee. So you could have the full five mana, but they got anything. They can do to stop this high leading in, but the racks are already down. Aggressive. Jumping in with a slight. Coming around, they need some sort of catch secret. Can't quite find the opening, they can't stop LGD. LGD, find the objective in the mid lane. Don't pay a price for it at all, and they'll get themselves straight in position to look for a repeat performance on the top lane as things are starting to look very, very sketchy indeed for Secret. I'm not really sure how they're supposed to defend. And maybe is just able to walk up, he's got that butterfly, the Aegis. He can just hit the tower, when he goes back, he can get the cold embrace, he can heal back up again, they have healing ward on top of that. And aggressive. Sitting on 4,000 gold, so he's getting close to another item. He's going to sell those drums soon. GD. Very much ready to go in again. Secret have got everything up and ready for a defense. They're trying to push out the mid and Frosh. In fact, is this a smoke up? He's just actually going to go for the straight up move around, but LGD can't just move like move in. Secret, they're gonna get themselves out of there. Envy's gotta be careful in case he gets caught out by these boys. Puppy does have a swap available if they need to save him. Puppy backing up, Envy turns around and puts somebody no, 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 He's gonna get out, he will! He keeps himself alive for the time being. RPG moving in straight onto LGD, forcing them back out of the base. Yowie stunned up by Puppy. They're both coming forward, and Secret again, somehow not losing anyone there. Envy very lucky to get away with his life there. I think he's trying to give people heart attacks, honestly. There's so many Lincolns actually in LGD right now. Well, I guess two is so many in this case, but... Still. Envy had to use the BKB there. Here we go again, jump in, aren't easy. Pick up the concoction. He's towards aggressive and can't quite get it off. Just onto Illusion. Radiant's top tower is under LGD attack. again, they're getting a serious amount of damage down as they steer three in secret. They're not stopping it yet. OGD just weaving perfectly in and out of the base of her, her secret. Rendering them unable to do anything to punish this kind of play. It still is just a case of sending the illusions out from secret. Trying to draw LGD's attention away from, from grouping us a 5 man up top. Then we have it. They do anything to stop this. And we just play Fury's moves in. It's the tower, they're gonna find a reflection from Envy, trying to be used to slow this down. Put them in the morph, this looks to the judge, the cold embrace is there! Banana's gonna go down, Envy, they need to kill the Juggernaut with the arm from Envy! Envy hits Thieves, they kill Envy! Envy dies into the hands of his teammates! They have killed one, they managed to take the Aegis out of the hands of maybe. And GG's still hanging around with the Moonlight Shadow, Envy's moved forward. Envy! Envy! He's dead! He's dead for 70 could be the end for Secret unless the four of them can pull out a miracle. Aggressive, looking for the kill on Taboba. Money Burns holds him back when he just simply ran us out of the base again. Fortification comes out of Secret. Still one minute without Envy on the defensive. It's easy with a Shiva for the Get the kill, Williams, take down MMY. Aggressive, looking for the kill on Arteezy. Falling on his Magic Missile, so maybe the jug is down. Puppy! Stepping up when it needed the most. They'll find the kill onto the Juggernaut. And with those plays, Secret again somehow keeping themselves in this match. It was much more costly investment oh, for LGD at the end of the day. Even considering Envy's dieback, he lost quite a bit there. But obviously maintaining the racks is the bigger win here for Secret. It's a very... I mean, LGD want to go in because you can watch what happens to Envy here. The curse, it's every single person on Secret just beating into him. That was a five-man curse. Extremely good placement there. And then as soon as the buyback comes out, they're like, okay, whatever, no BKB, no meta. But Envy just trying to walk in because he wants to take the fight to make use of the buyback, but they just instantly kill him. There's no no save at all. At the end of the day, they secret maintain their top set of racks. They still have a lot to go if they want to make a comeback here.
I'm so, I mean, just little things like you, know, you look at the fact that Illusion. aggressive Zember, he, he's on par with Arteezy's uh, Alchemist. That's not a good thing. Though. That is, that is not a good thing. That is. Uh, if you're secret, you want your scary. Alchemist. Yeah, you want your Alchemist to be like doubling the net worth of the next highest person in the game, more or less. But the problem is, it's a 50-minute game, and obviously in the laning phase, Arteezy was fairly pressured. So it's. It's not the easiest game for him anymore. I think the, the last thing that he can start to do besides replace his armlet with another item is just start to buy Aghanims for people, and he's already obviously gotten one for Pi. I'm just not sure if the Aghanims are really gonna mean that much. It's not really the best team for the Aghanims. No TD after that. Situation at top. No, we're just gonna focus on still finishing up even more items, maybe. Salt Karas is done. I mean, that in itself is just going to add so much to this high ground push from LGD. Make it even harder for Secret to beat back into them, even with the high base physical damage from, from MV's Terror Blade. Honestly, I think that more than anything, one of the heroes on Secret needs MKB for maybe, because now that he has like AC and Butterfly, it's, it's going to become so hard to kill him with just physical damage. Again, we talk about itemization and, and how easy it is to itemize against a team. I feel like LGD, all you really need is is armor. You have armor, the Terra Blade and the Alchemist both do significantly less for you in these fights. In that sense, Navy's itemization and just overall play this game has been phenomenal. I mean, yeah, you can attribute a lot of his his kills to the early runes and whatnot, but it's just LGD being able to control the runes better than Secret did this game. And it, it put them in such a, a huge advantage, just taking away the map control, the aggressive warding that LGD had the entire game, getting so many picks. Just imagine if Secret hadn't had such an uh, abysmal laning phase. The lineup had a much different feeling. Absolutely, because in terms of the fights, uh, as you said, considering how, how much more the LGD have, it's impressive in the sense for Secret that they are able to achieve what they have been. You know, being able to take down some of the members of LGD. Yeah. LGD moving across. Uh, so they're able to find the latch onto MV. Secret backing up. Okay, looks like Boulder's going to be the first to fall. Does have buyback available. From the Beastmaster, but LG find a pick. As we can see though again, because of the pressure of the lanes, they've got to back right up before they can get this mid lane pushed in. Pressure from Secret. Seriously being put on by their illusion based lineup. More obviously worth noting as well, uh, an Aghanims was given to Puppy, so we've got Axe on the Venge now for the next defense. Yeah, the two best uh, people to get Aghanims for on the team, yeah. easily. And plus, you know. Blade doesn't actually have an Aghanim, so no real use in giving it to him. Let's see if they uh, want to plan with that to buy back on Mobile Envy. Would be caught up with the arrow, probably. I just got to swap down a magic facility to follow through. And looking for the new crew on him. Can't quite get him. He's been losing the death. Fighting from death, Puppy. Looking for Jarrett. Oh, the Embrace from Emma White. Keeps him alive, Emma White. Will go down, though. Envy takes down a second. LTD. The block two. Secret moon in the ball. Banana. He's in trouble as well. Not easy. Surrounded with the illusions. They're going to lose the Kuska. Secret. They are. Defending! I don't know how they're quite doing it, Andy, but they're able to hold their own against a team that's got so far behind. And LGD at this point, they're starting to struggle. I feel like if the Ember doesn't get a crit during a slighted fist, the fights actually... There's so much damage output on Secret that if they get a good target swap after the Cold Embrace, they just blow them up. Terribly it annihilates them in seconds with the inner beast or and whatnot. Obviously Sam died during that fight because of the uh, the Winter's Curse. And truth be told, that, that curse was okay, but you really want to hit at least one of the cores with it if you can to make sure that you have the, that hero not hitting during that point. Because that curse was meant to save Xiao Wait and it didn't save him. And then he dies. And then after that point, LGD are already on the back foot. So again, brilliant defense here from Secret. They're going to go for a quick smoke play. Roshan is up. Getting Roshan for Secret will be absolutely huge at this stage. A stage of the game where LGD have been able to take it. Now Secret able to do anything. Still three members of LGD down, so Secret to move straight into the pit. And see if they get away with this already. Illusions inbound, so LGD will be aware of what's going on. Secret, I guess, as quickly as they can. They're not in the Okay, in they're the spooked. They're spooked. They see the Illusions, they back out. They don't want to commit to a Secret. Okay, here we go. And the question is, do they want to try and fight LGD around it? LGD themselves, as we've seen, they can take it down a fair bit quicker than Secret if they don't fully commit with the Metamorphosis. I think they would probably just let LGD get it again. I mean, they've defended against multiple Aegis pushes so far, right? 
And it's actually getting to a point in the game where the Ember Spirit is pretty much not going to have any more inventory slots for another item anyway. Where they got? Secret. Yeah, they're not going to make a move for this. They've got to accept that they'll do can't be stopped when it comes to, to Roshan A. Just to buy Zhao A. Cheese is still on the ground. I was like, they don't want the cheese. Maybe they're not hungry. Lactose intolerant. Yep. Alright, looks like, uh, yeah, MMI is going back for it. We have it. I think the curse becomes really important at this stage in the game for him. You know, saying that it only killed the Beastmaster in the last fight and didn't disable any of the cores, that's a really big thing. Because look at the way that the fight worked out when he got like a five-man curse and just blows up the Terror Blade, his whole team kills him. It's it's a really big deal for MMI to get the, the proper positioning and the, the curse placement. But he's been playing very well. His pull the braces have more or less been on point. Important thing for this uh, fight being to both parts easy and and we do have buyback at the ready. Which may be needed, especially with LGD going as hard as they were before. So we've seen Secret definitely relying on some of these key buybacks to hold the fort and hold back LGD's advances. And again, as we can see, top lane is being shoved out fairly hard. Aggressive has to TP Respect out there the to deal with that. Already, as soon as the attention is drawn away from mid, and uh, out easy, and MV are there with the illusions, pushing the lane back out. You can see constantly just picking up as much as they can from the map, even with regards to the amount of pressure LGD's heroes themselves are putting on secret. So much money on aggressive, 8.6k in the bank. This is uh, an incredibly rich atmosphere. LGD, and the eyes on out easy. Out. Again, a bit of deja vu. We've seen LGD before in this position. They weren't able to do it last time. We can do it now with Aegis and Cheese at the ready. Still a very hard high ground to crack. I'm kind of wondering if there's some point where Aggressive decides to go for a raid period. I feel like the team still is lacking damage a little bit against the cores of Secret because they have double save, right? They have the swap and they have the Venom. So it's difficult for them to just flat out get a kill when they're going high ground unless the curse on MMY lands on point. Mm -hmm. in. Again, in and out, in and out LGD on this top lane. Focus down, fuck the Manta, moving forward, maybe with a Lotus Orb on him again, Pi with the defensive disruption puppy, looks for some sort of spot to maybe set something up, aggressive, remnants away, there's the swap up M and Y, but it's put Puppy in a whole lot of mire, they take down M and Y though, there's no Y, but Puppy gets it live, but he's got a second one, he's got an MK, the dead isn't there to fight Puppy, and he to help out a second time, it's a one for one trade, secret, they find anything else there, the next mark set up, onto Arteezy, Jawai very low at the moment, it has to blink away, Again, LGD unable to get the racks and just taking the one-for-one -one trade, which it just feels at this stage of the game is not good enough for LGD. They need more. This is what happens when you have too many melee heroes in the same team. LGD don't have very good siege, so pretty much have to take a fight in order to hit buildings at this point. And since you have Chemical Rage and a, a super farmed alchemist now with a Mjolnir as well, he can just be the front line. He kills the creep wave. And because you deal a little bit of damage, he can still heal it up with the chemical rage and doesn't need other forms of sustain to actually be able to defend his own base. So it's it's working out pretty well for the time being. GD, they're not getting impatient though. They're not going for any crazy plays where they base dive and such to try to end the game. They're just playing it safe. They say, look, you only really have two heroes on your team that are getting farmed. We are potentially farming three at the same time. So we're still going to continually get a little bit farther ahead, even though at this point it's, it's kind of an incremental gain because so many of the cores are close to six slotted, if not already. It'll just be down to a secret making mistake. They're just going to take one. And not easy. Brunson could fight. MV already trying to find his target. This walks is in. This seems very much to a stalemate between the two sides. Secret of how to get to the point where they have an answer to every time that LGD try and look for a jump in. Back. Now Moonlight, they really want to try and use this to get into perfect positioning. Need to try and cut down the back line and looking for some kind of crit. It's gonna happen, impressive. He's man up again, starts easy. For the racks, again, jumps back. I still need to get lethal range tracks down, LGD. 
And as we can see, it's... And this, it feels like this could go on for a while, Andy. It's constant back and forth on the top lane. I mean, this is a super stressful situation for both teams. You know, if LTD mess up the push, Seeker can get a lot of damage to back. Oh, he's no. Gonna yeah. he's, he's gonna leap away. He's able to finish off the range tracks now. At this point, of course, that is at least the Seeker's worry. Yeah, rain tracks honestly means nothing. The more and more money racking up on a RTZ, you can think about getting more axe. He's got the courier out on the sidelines. He's trying to get it over, <clears throat> but it's uh, obviously very risky for him to do so with a full side of LGD in the area. Yeah, they even have a ward as well. So if he sent the courier back the normal way, it would probably just die. Uh, he's gonna have to send it like back to the tree and then <clears throat> or back to the tree line and then back to base. Oh, is that you? Okay, picking himself a moonshot as well as, as the point booster ready for the next axe. And as you said, you just gotta be careful with the trip that this courier makes back. Oh, it was out of range of that. So he was skirting it around the, the yeah. ward vision, so they have some kind of idea that there would be some, some vision. Very nice courier movement. I guess at this point you just get the Agonim to Beastmaster and then just go for stat Agonim. So people can ban yourself. And as you can see, just a reflection as well from Envy, causing issues for LGD. Oh, the swap up to Joway, they try to burst him down, the corner range is there! Keeping him alive for the time being, but he's losing mana. Poppy, who the first to get taken down on the sidelines, turns around with the magic missile onto maybe. And we're unable to finish off Joway as he gets himself back to safety. Reversive for RTZ, trying to man fight it. Arthur picking up the concoction, but the torrent's there. Force back as well, maybe. Demonic Perk, the steal, he did it again. The cold is raised from MMI. Keeping baby alive, they'll still finish him off. Too much damage. They're racing it down as well. They've taken two. They're looking for Banana. They're not done yet. Secret on the defensive. They are doing it again. They'll take another double kill for MV. They're holding the base. 62 minutes in! Secret, a team that looked to be on the absolute back foot against LGD, and they're consistently holding them off and coming out on top of these fights. I mean, they just... The Alchemist has so much sustain. He takes so much damage. LGD try to go in, but maybe he's just completely isolated at this point because of the fact that they already had their other core back out. He's just in there all alone. Regardless at this point, if you have the cold embrace, it's not going to save if the rest of your team can't back you up. LGD overextending, getting punished very hard for it. We'll oh boy, oh boy, what a game we've got on our hands here in the lower bracket. First round, best of one. I think people obviously expected this one to be a to be a tight one, but but to go down like this as well. As I said, with a start where it really looked like secret. We're playing like group stage secret. It just, it wasn't quite there, but now everything's starting to come together for them on the main stage. And they're slowing down the pushes of a team that seem to have built up an unstoppable force, but somehow secret as a group are able to hold them back. And now LGD, they've got to be very careful about these advances that they look to take because you lose a fair few more and secret are suddenly, they're going to be in a position to power down a lane and with the pushing power of a Terra Blade, they get close to your base, they're ripping it to pieces. Not only the Terror Blade, but just the, the power of the Shadow Demon Illusions this stage in the game, when both your cores that you want to be disrupting have six slots. This is getting increasingly stressful for LGD. Like, they were in such a dominant position not too long ago, and sure, they might be able to still push the lanes out again because they have that Ember Spirit, they have the Marana with the Axe and the, the Battle Fury on maybe as well. Juggernaut is just kind of topped out. He's not really doing it much more than, you know, he can at this point. It's, he's, he's going in, like, trying to throw out an Omni or whatever, get a couple of hits on the racks, and at that point, he's, he's just out of gas. He's not much more than an ult and a healing ward at this point. As we can see, Secret, obviously with the way the recent oh, of the game has way. gone, I think I'm a bit more confident in coming out. Do have yes. buy bucks up on everyone, apart from Puppy as well, so they have that bit of a fallback as well to, to come out and look, look for these movements, look for these plays. Or GD themselves. They are in the neighborhood in their own jungle. Moonlight Shadow. We'll see how much ever you want to use this to kick it off. And even just with the mighty amount of illusions the secret have out, it just makes it so hard and confusing for LGD to fight into and fight around. And constantly having to be aware of secret just putting on the pressure elsewhere. As uh, secret looks to back up, for pushing out the top lane. They'll just have back to clearing out the mid and keeping the bottom away from. A last set of untouched racks on the bottom. Still, of course, with the melee racks alive up top. Another axe out. 
from our tour. Yeah, that one's for him. Okay. That's a gift for our tour. Gotta get them stats. Yeah, he well he gave it to the other three heroes who actually have Agonim upgrades already. So the last one's just what gonna be Envy. Poor old Envy. Yeah. He'll get it eventually. I think it actually I think it's actually better to give it to Envy first than to take it yourself as the alpha, but a very small thing. And, and at the same time, RTZ has been the one to tank. You know, he goes for Yeah, he the, is the one who's in front. Yeah, he's the punching bag. Uh, oh, so many extra bit of armor. Champ, did you ever seen the extra HP? It's gonna go a little way. Roshan. He's with the next fallback for the side of LGD once again. It's gonna be up any second now. Secret. Oh, we've seen them unable to, to really fully engage at a fight around the Roche pit. They may feel now in a bit of a stronger position to do so. Yeah, I think they actually want to contest this one. Their movement. So they could take a well. fight out on the map. Oh, wow. Especially if they start off like this. Kunana taken out. We're calling great from MMY, but still, secret. They want to follow through on this one, but not a falling low, and they'll take it. That's the Kuka down. Can they get themselves anything else out of this one? As Another one. Party brings in MMY. He's in trouble as well. How to get to the pit? They're chasing him down. Roshan picking down him as well. And secret. They find themselves a second. Aggressor still playing around with this one. He's got to be careful. Puppy. Chased down by the Illusions RTZ. Keeping him alive as he clears them out with the Shiva's guard. Oh, he, oh. Aggressive. And he goes. Still running away from Pi. They got to be secret. worried about top lane. Got to send something back indeed. Xiao oh, no. is putting the pressure on. They'll send Envy back for this. The rest of the team sticking around to look to take Roshan. Pi's going to come up as well. Have to be a crit, but they have got to be careful. They've got to be careful here, Secret. They need backup. How quickly are they doing Roshan? That, that is the question. So, oh! He's got to watch himself. He's got to watch himself. The man team might be fine as he's, he's very close to bouncing. Those hits will still towards the direction of a Secret. They've managed to do it. They create the space. Oh! Oh, he's going! 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 Looking to come in the door from Banana holds it back! He didn't think it did! Every will play on his line, no, the side of the illusion! He keeps himself alive, looking for Jai, will step forward. Envy's down, LGD is still coming out on top. Buybacks are coming out, Pi, RTZ getting himself back in the game. The other three heroes down at the moment do have buyback available. We'll see if they hold on to it. But this push is going to come in. So Secret obviously do get the Roche, get the Aegis, but they lose the Aegis, they lose the fight, and indeed, aggressive fight back. He's going to see this as the window to end the game. They're heading straight for the bottom lane, LGD. Buyback from Envy. Oh, it's going to be back in 10, naturally. So what Secret can do, fortification. Again, they need some big, absolutely amazing opening for this fight. This power now with a reflection, looking towards Xiao Wei, RTZ. And it will force LGD back, but buybacks being used left, right, and center. Here we go. There's the rapier. Rapier time, boys and girls. Woo, 68 minutes in this game. Secret LGD is heating up. And that, that fight in the river was so unfortunate. Oh. He, didn't, he didn't pop the, uh, he didn't pop the BKB on Envy. Saving it for TI-7. Well, yeah, wait. Teasing with him here. See ya. Our secret deal with the punches of aggressive as he comes in with the rapier. Right yeah. And it's easy again. Caught up by the chains. Towards Xiao Wei. Demonic purge. Ball was raw. Xiao Wei again. Caught in break. Remember what he's for life. Maybe trying to get it on the front line. But the Omni is being low to sort. They're on each other. And maybe now they've overextended. The conversion. Caught out. The Rift is caught. Ever wide. Help them, baby. Get them set away from secret. They've lost Envy. Envy's down. No more that's available for the Terror Blade. Secret with only four men left. They need seven shoes. Pi jumps in. Reverse disruptions to set up. RTZ. Looking for the concoction, looking for Banana. And again, the cold embracing from MMY. Making it so hard. Pi probably gets the swap back for the damage. The Rapier. It could all be over for Secret. RTZ. He's dressed to Mango by all his life. He may be going there for good. There's a disruption from Pi. But the boat comes in. RTZ down. And Secret are crumbling after holding on the street. It's all too much for 
for them. Jesus is going home. Round one in the last bracket. LGT 69 minutes in are able to seal the deal. What a match. That was an unbelievable defense from Seeker. You got to give him props for the as far behind as they were in that game to make that good of a hold for that long. It's just unfortunate that this was the best of one lower bracket game because I think the fans would want to see more from both these teams. Absolutely. LGD, Yahweh and the boys, the direct.